If you are wondering what happened to hardware accelerated Android on the Raspberry Pi, then I've got some news for you. All right, so what you guys are seeing here is the current beta build of uh, Android uh, Marshmallow for Raspberry Pi 2 with the uh, Video Go 4 driver. So let's go ahead and see uh, how the Android uh, actually sees the Video 4 driver as installed. So we are here in the IDA64 application. Uh, which shows us the GPU vendor as Broadcom, the renderer as Gallium 0.4 on uh, Video Core 4, uh, our OpenGL ES version as 2.0, and our GPU version as GL ES Mesa 11.1. Now, uh, these all are extensions that are supported by the driver at the moment, and let's uh, go ahead and uh, run some app that and on GLES so as soon as we launch something that actually runs on uh, open GLES this is what happens the application suddenly crashes now this has been happening but the GLES driver is inside and uh, is installed properly uh, only the Android applications are not responding to it now uh, another demo for uh, the to show that the GLES is actually installed is the web GL on Chrome actually works very well. So as you can see, uh, this uh, Chrome 3D rendering using web GL is working uh, as it should uh, pretty well. But uh, yes, the Android applications are not really happy uh, with some of the implementations. Uh, of WebGL on this build. Now there is a image floating around uh, that has OpenGL is working properly and that is of Android KitKat and it's for ARM v6 and not ARM v7. Although it should technically work I did not get a chance to test that video as that video is actually meant for uh, high resolution displays of like 1440p or 4k and not for 1080p monitors so we are still trying to get a, a complete a open GLES completely working on Android with every application possible now uh, I will have the link to the blog post in the description which will have uh, the complete uh, write up of this video as well as some other useful link uh, including uh, github source codes and uh, so all those links will be in the description down below uh, do check them out and subscribe to this channel for any further updates on OpenGL ES and other GPU driver implementation on the Raspberry Pi once again thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time